It started out as a neighborhood issue, but tonight a mosque near Murfreesboro is now making its mark on national politics. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Scott Arnold. For this brand new development, let's go over to News Channel 5's Chris Cannon. And Chris, this has now turned into a campaign issue. Scott, Tennessee's 6th Congressional District is up for grabs this fall, and this mosque controversy in Murfreesboro has put it in the middle of the campaign, and now this controversy is really in the middle of this race as well. Some picking for the movers and shakers in Tennessee's Republican Party. The annual Statesman's Dinner always brings out the GOP heavy hitters, especially during a big election year. Uh, we do not want to have Sharia law in this country. It's, uh... That's Jay Hine. He's the campaign manager for 6th Congressional District candidate Luan Zelnick, who has stirred up some controversy with this statement about a proposed Muslim mosque in Murfreesboro, saying in part this Islamic center is not part of a religious movement. It is a political movement designed to fracture the moral and political foundation of Middle Tennessee. This is a political ideology that's opposed to our, our Constitution. We believe in religious freedom, but we are opposed to Sharia law being in our soil. The mosque controversy has become a national hot topic and one many politicians at this dinner sidestep their way around. I didn't keep up with that, to tell you I'm worried about what's going on on the state level here. I didn't keep up with what's going on down there. Just don't know the background and, again, local issue. I've been a mayor and know that those, those kind of things are best dealt with at that level. State Senators Jim Tracy and Diane Black are Zelnick's biggest competitors, and they didn't make a comment Friday. The Tea Party candidate did speak out last week at a meeting in Murfreesboro. The Islamist is not a religion like Baptist, Church of Christ, Methodist. It's a political way of life. A proposed mosque in Murfreesboro has all of a sudden become political fodder for a congressional race. And many of the politicians at this dinner really avoided the topic tonight. One jokingly ran away from reporters when the mosque controversy was mentioned. Zelnick did not attend the statement's dinner. She was campaigning at the Blackman Barbecue in that area of Rutherford County. Scott. All right, Chris Cannon with the update. Thank you so much. Now, prominent National Islamic Civil Rights Group tonight is now asking Republican Party leaders to publicly reject Zelnick's statement about that Murfreesboro mosque.